Now I'm going to start this video very boldly by saying no. I did not think Modern Warfare would have a Season 7. I would never have thought it. I thought that you'd be crazy if you said it. But then I started looking at leaks, data mines, and all of that really changed my mind. And it's usually half of my mind to change personally. Especially since Black Ops Cold War has really been taking over Modern Warfare. You don't really hear a lot about Modern Warfare. They keep neglecting it. They keep shoving it under the bus. And even in Season 1, when you looked at Modern Warfare on the home screen, you saw it in the little corner of the application icon, which was just a disaster. Today's video, I might actually show you some evidence that may change your mind. If it doesn't change your mind, that's okay. Keep in mind though, everything here is merely speculation based off of what we have found in the files. Will they ever get released or will they just be cut assets? I don't know, but let's start diving into the evidence. So consider the fact that in every single battle pass we've had, the operators at tier 1 and 100 go one of two ways. Either it goes where it's the same operator at 1 and 100, but the tier 1 skin is more basic and tier 100 is more legendary. Uh, you saw this with Price, with Alex, with Ghost, with, with Mara. But it could also be in the stage where there's two different operators, and this was the case with Season 5 with Lurch and Rose. Lurch was 1, Rose was 100, uh, and Season 6 where Farah was 1 and Nikolai was 100. Now, with this being said, there are two operators that are in the game's files. If you saw the thumbnail, you know exactly what I'm talking about. One of them is a random person named Sparks. I've never really seen him around. I don't know if he refers to a real-life person. And, of course, the other one is the massacred version of Soap, which just looks absolutely atrocious, if you ask me. But these are the two operators coming. Now, they're mostly dressed in snow-themed, so I don't know if we're getting more snow maps to Modern Warfare. That's another speculation on its own. I haven't found any sort of leak toward it. Uh, maybe it's toward the new Warzone map with snowy areas. I do not know. But we're getting two Spark skins and three Soap skins, and it makes me beg the question of whether or not this will be like a tier 1 or tier 100 thing. So maybe Soap would be tier 100, Sparks might be tier 1, because Soap does have three skins, and Sparks only has two. So I don't really see how it would make sense if they only made Soap be 1 and 100, because he only has three skins and not six, so the operator missions wouldn't really add up there. Sparks most likely is going to be a bundle, but again, completely speculation. Uh, I'm just saying that because you wouldn't be getting your money's worth from your card points on buying a battle pass if Sparks only comes with two skins. Whenever every operator you get every 10 tiers really has three missions, three skins, and you can complete the missions to unlock various versions of those skins. And this other thing to consider in the battle pass is the weapons. In the past, pretty much every single season we've had, give or take maybe one or two, the free weapons that come in the battle pass, there's usually two of them. It's usually an assault rifle or an SMG. Now, in this season, we do have three unreleased weapons, but you can still access them in Spec Ops. There is the Psykov, which is the Makarov. It's a CZ Scorpion, which is essentially the CX-9 in this game. And there's something called the LOL LMG, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Now, chances are the LOL might be mid-season because you can find it in Warzone right now. It's overpowered as hell. The CZ might be, or I should say the CX-9, might be in the battle pass, and the Psykov most likely will be. So, like I said, every battle pass, we usually have gotten two free weapons, so this might be the case next time. Now, another reason why we might be seeing a Season 7 is that with Verdansk, we actually had a few maps based off of points of interest in Verdansk. For instance, we did have a multiplayer map called basically Stadium, Verdansk Stadium, which is of course set in whenever the stadium opened up. And we did also have Scrapyard get directly ported from Verdansk, as well as Broadcast and Superstore. All those were points of interest in Verdansk, and yes, some of those were actually maps from older Call of Duty games. But if you actually took spectator camera in those, you basically can fly out of the map. You can actually see the full map of Verdansk if you go in a multiplayer map and fly out. It's just very untextured. So by the same logic, whenever this nuke event happens, or whatever the zombies thing is people are talking about that happens on March 11th, which is the one year anniversary of Warzone, we may receive a new map, and as a result we may receive new Modern Warfare and Cold War maps. Now, again, I don't really care so much about Cold War because I think it's really a marketing scam, but Modern Warfare likely will get some new maps based off of the new Warzone map, allegedly. Now, I had another video talking about this new map, I believe like I said in that video, it is most likely going to be the fire team mixed together. Again, this is purely speculation, but some of my information is coming from the Game Revolution, which is a very reliable source because he's correctly leaked things on countless occasions before regarding Modern Warfare and Warzone. But this is all I want to share with you today. These are my two cents. If you have any ideas down below, let me in the comment section below. But again, I initially thought Season 7 was impossible, unheard of, untold, and if you told me it was coming, I would think you're crazy. But after assessing things, slowing things down, and connecting things together, it's starting to make a little bit more sense. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and that being said, I'm Cyberlox, and I'm signing out.